My name is Rosemary Poor. I'm from California State University, Long Beach. My poster is uh, Evolution of Sparse Inflorescence One Within Grasses, and my co-author is Simon Nakamura. I'm pleased to be able to tell you a little bit about my work. Um, the gene that I'm interested in is called Sparse Inflorescence One, and, um, or SPI1. Um, SPI1 is a yucca gene, and yucca genes catalyze the production of oxen in plants. Um, in, in Arabidopsis, uh, yuccas play redundant roles, meaning you have to knock out more than one before you see a phenotype. And in grasses, um, yuccas tend to play non-redundant roles. So SPI1 was first characterized in maize, and in maize, um, when you knock out SPI1, it has a severe inflorescence phenotype. Um, when the same gene is looked at in rice, there is not an inflorescence phenotype, which suggests a diversification of function somewhere within the grass family. So that's really what my project is about, is investigating the diversification. So the first thing I've done is take 165 uh, sequences of land plant yucca genes um, and make them into a tree. Um, in the tree you'll see it's rooted with fungal sequences here in brown. The eudicots are in black, the monocots are in blue, and um, I've got some mosses, uh, lycophytes, and even a gymnosperm sequence in at the bottom. Um, so the tree is complicated. The yucca genes um, are a big gene family and the relationships are complex. But um, the spot one plane is right here. This is what I'm most interested in. You'll see it blown up here. Um, and we have spy one genes here in sorghum, in maize, where it was originally characterized, in rapopodium, and in rice. Um, and then two at the top um, are hairs and joint bilia. So, um, these spy one genes are in play and they're very closely related. So what I've done is look at them from the genome analysis named Koji. Uh, with the genome analysis, what we do is uh, we look at the genome region around the gene. Um, so you'll see the, the spy one genes are here in the middle. And this is basically the chromosomal region around the spy one gene in Brachypodium and in rice and sorghum and in maize. Um, and the lines represent synthesis which is conserved gene structure and order. Um, and this basically means that in addition to the genes being orthologs, they're also what we call syntologs, so they're in uh, similar regions of the gene. Uh, the next thing I did for my project is do some RT-PCR expression. So what I was looking for is to see where SPI1 is expressed in different plant tissues. Um, so what you're looking at here is the Brachypodium SPI1 gene, and we see that it's expressed in stem, leaf, and in inflorescence. And I've used actin here as a control, which is ubiquitously expressed. Also, I have RT data for sorghum. So the sorghum spy one gene is expressed in stem, leaf, and inflorescence. And again, actin is used as a control. So we're seeing spy one expression basically in um, all the sampled organs of the plant, which is consistent with what's published in maize and with what's published in rice where our SPI1 is seen in all sample organs. Um, but when we look a little bit closer to see exactly where it's expressed, um, it gets a little more interesting. So what you see here is an in situ hybridization um, of a sorghum inflorescence. Um, and so all these are inflorescence branches. And what we see is the darkened areas are where SPI1 is expressed. And it's being expressed at the site of new inflorescence branches. <laughs> Right where the new inflorescence branches uh, are about to start, that's where SPI1 is being expressed, which is consistent with its role in local oxen biosynthesis, because oxen, um, local oxen biosynthesis is required for new organ initiation. So uh, for future directions, um, what really interested me in the project to begin with was the functional divergence between um, the maize, where there is an inflorescence phenotype, and the rice, where there's not. Um, and so we've started to do some artificial microRNA knockdowns to look at the phenotype in rice again when SPI1 is not present and also in brachypodium. Um, and so that's what I'm working on right now.